In part one of this series, I explained how the halving event causes Bitcoin to be increasingly scarce, bidding the price up as demand increases. That fundamental understanding allows us to forecast Bitcoin's next bull market. In this video, I'll do a deep dive on two things. Bitcoin's market cycles and projecting the price of Bitcoin in 2021 and beyond using historical data. If you know your markets, you know your cycles. Regular cycles tend to take this ebb and flow pattern of ups and downs. The important takeaway is that cycles reflect the psychology of market participants. At the top, everyone feels great and feels like nothing can go wrong. At the bottom, everything is on fire and selling feels like the only option. Over time, the cycle repeats, rewarding early adopters and punishing those who FOMO at the top. Bitcoin is no different, except that it's so early in its inception that these cycles take on incredible patterns that may seem illogical. Historically, what you'll see here has been Bitcoin's market cycle. Let me first explain each stage so you have a better understanding of what happened in 2013 and 2017. The stealth phase occurs before the Bitcoin halving. In this stage, people have forgotten about Bitcoin and only the true believers still participate in the space. According to my hypothesis, the takeoff point that leads to the awareness phase is caused by the halving. Slowly, more and more people are hearing about Bitcoin and considering it as an investment asset. I believe we're roughly here in the cycle indicated by the gold star. Notice that the real takeoff in price doesn't occur until the third phase. This is simply just the beginning. There are usually a few sell-offs that makes people panic. The purpose of these sell-offs is to get rid of the skeptics who sell at the first sign of danger. This is one of the last few buying opportunities before we enter the mania phase. At this point, the sellers have been exhausted. The weak hands are gone. Bitcoin begins another rally and reaches a record price, and it begins to get featured on the news like the New York Times. The delusion phase is characterized by everybody and their grandmothers buying Bitcoin, touting the crazy gains they made on social media. You'll see things like this. Dutch man sells house to buy more crypto. Anyways, this leads to people FOMOing into the markets and creates an unsustainable rally. At some point, people begin to take profits, and there are no buyers left. This leads to the blow-off phase that creates a downward spiral in the price of Bitcoin. Most participants bought it to flip for a quick profit without really understanding what it is, so sellers capitulate to cut their losses. At the end of the stage, the media portrays Bitcoin as a scam, and headlines like this emerge. Don't be like this guy. Be aware of these cycles, and don't FOMO into the top. After the blood is on the streets, smart money begins to accumulate Bitcoin to begin the stealth phase all over again. Now that you understand this, let's look at the price action of Bitcoin after the halving in 2012 and 2016. You'll be surprised to see the resemblance of these cycles. So this is the first halving cycle Bitcoin experienced in November 2012, when the price went from $12 to $1,200 in 52 weeks. This is the weekly chart. So let's see how it got there. This is a stealth phase when the the price of Bitcoin wasn't really doing much, but after the halving, it entered the awareness phase. So the price of Bitcoin just surged to 250 before having its first uh, bear trap when the Bitcoin fell from 250 to $50 in a single week. So really scary. But if you held on, you would see your gains increase. And over time, in late 2013, Bitcoin literally just surged uh, from roughly 120 to you know 1208 weeks. All right, you want to be in the market when this happens. But it also follows the boom and bust cycle. So once all that buying is exhausted, Bitcoin fell roughly 87% in 59 weeks. And this is the 2016 halving cycle when the price of Bitcoin went from 660 to 20K in 75 weeks. So roughly 18 months. And it closely resembles that of the first cycle. So there's a stealth phase. Halving creates an awareness phase and slowly... Bitcoin price goes up. Price of Bitcoin has a bear trap here, another bear trap here, another bear trap here. And these bear traps, they look tiny, but these are 30% pullbacks. And I guarantee you, if you're in the markets, you're going to be really, really scared when it happens before surging all the way to 20K, all time highs, right? And you can see that in both cycles, just the price of Bitcoin just goes parabolic. So if you take the bottom here to the top, that takes 13 weeks. So that's three months when the price of Bitcoin went from 3K to 20K. All right, you want to be in the market when this happens. And you know, the boom and bust cycle, the price of Bitcoin goes from 20K to basically 3K 
a roughly 85% drawdown in a year. So where will Bitcoin top in this cycle? There are a few ways to go about this. First, let's look at how much the price increased from the date of the halving to the cycle top. The first cycle saw a 100x increase from $12 to $1,200. The second cycle saw a 30x increase from $658 to $20K. So perhaps a third top will be 10 times the price of the date of the halving, or $85,720. Also, we can use a similar logic with the market tops in each cycle. The top in the first halving cycle was 1163, roughly a 36x increase from the previous top. Subsequently, the 2017 market top was a 17x increase, roughly half 36. With this logic, we can forecast the next cycle to see an 8.5x increase from 20k, which is roughly $170,000. Lastly, the stock to flow model is a very famous model used by the community to predict the price of Bitcoin. The model measures the current stock or supply of a resource in relation to the flow or how much new Bitcoin is being created. It's a model used to value scarce assets like real estate and gold. The model has a 95% correlation to the actual price of Bitcoin, and it predicts $100,000 Bitcoin by mid-2021. But how long will it take to get there? Here's another chart that color codes the boom and bust cycle of Bitcoin. The first cycle took 12 months from the halving to the top, while the second halving took 18 months. Because much more new money and liquidity is needed to move the price of Bitcoin at a higher price, we can expect the next top to occur in 18 to 24 months. So I'm expecting Bitcoin to hit 85,000 to 170,000 by early to mid 2022. You might be thinking, this is ridiculous. This is way too wide of a range. And I agree, but the goal of this research is to help you manage risk going forward. It's also important to manage your expectations because it'll be difficult to sell when the price keeps ripping higher. Personally, I'm well aware that I cannot predict the future, so I'll be taking profits as we approach and enter this range. I don't want to be like this guy, who got too greedy and didn't take profits. These cycles are important because people act in similar ways in times of extreme fear and in extreme euphoria. So I'd like to end the video on a few quotes that I think is important to keep in mind whether you're a skeptic or an optimist. Technical analysis tracks the past. It does not predict the future. You have to use your own intelligence to draw conclusions about what the past activity of some traders may say about the future activity of other traders. And famously by Mark Twain, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. Do your own research and use your own judgment when investing, but always keep an open mind when it comes to an incredible asset like Bitcoin. Thank you.